half of a school joining me, but I have the SD60 band, and we'll introduce everybody kind of as we go, but I want to start off with Paige. Paige, if you don't mind, look into the camera here, give a little wave, show everybody who Paige is. There we go, Paige. All right, Paige, let's start with you. What is the SD60 band for those who don't know? Um, the SD60 band is honestly a very big collective of the community and uh, kids from the school district um, that honestly have, like, are able to grow a passion for music and learn so, so much from our wonderful directors, Mr. Price and Mrs. Brooks, as well as Sandra Gunn and Alice Mondrell. And um, they're the middle school band um, directors, and their middle school band bands are going to nationals this year in Toronto. And last year, the senior band directed by Mr. Price is, um, we got to go to nationals last year in Niagara Falls, and it was so cool. We got to get 43 people to go to nationals, and then this year, inc we're going to Whistler, the Cantando Festival, and um, in total, there are 60 students traveling this year. And in total, this year, uh, we have 400 students in the band program and 120 in the beginning band program, which is the grade 6, and then they get to go through the band program all the way through grade 12. I just I just wanted two things. One, also, band nerd. See this? I've got the tattoos to prove it. Second, <laughs> 400 students in your yeah. band program? I graduated from a high school with 150 people, okay? Like, I need you to understand how huge this is for me. Now, we're going to trade out here. Uh, Paige is going to take a quick step back. I'm going to move over with Dana. I want to make sure I'm pronouncing it right, right? It's, it's Dana. Okay, Dana. Now, we're talking about 400 people trying to organize, trying to put not just a band together, but a lot of great songs. Can you tell me what kind of music you guys are playing? Is it Beethoven and Mozart, or are you like, Coldplay, some Ariana Grande. So, well, I mean, we're country music. Toby Keith. Honestly, we're playing a lot of different songs from both classical music and there's also like classic rock. There's just a whole bunch of different things and I can't even name all of them. Okay, but I do want to get because the people who like country music very often like their classic rock. Like, are we talking Def Leppard, ACDC, Little Metallica? Like, what? Give me a couple of examples. Oh, oh, hang on, because I need somebody who's closer to a microphone to say that for me. Dana, can you can you translate for those who couldn't hear from the microphone? Well, Mrs. Brooks, our director, said that the Canadian band is going to be playing Metallica songs, and so is Rinaldi. And Rinaldi is, is joining me over here where Paige was. Dana, thank you so much. We're going to swap you out, and we'll come over to Rinaldi here for a second. First off, do Metallica high five. <laughs> There you go, because, you know, radio is a visual medium, and everybody saw that high five. Uh, Rinaldi, when it comes to the High on Ice Fest, you guys are going to be involved in this this weekend. Uh, what is it you're going to do? What, what's the band's involvement? Uh, so we're going to be serving food for the community, and then I think mostly partaking the middle schoolers will be helping out. And, of course, the senior band will be helping out with it. And I think today is the preparation for it, which is I think taking place at the Dr. Kearney Middle School. Okay, excellent. Now, when you say you're going to be serving food, where and when? And I guess we can get into some other details like what? Are we serving Brontosaurus burgers, tacos, eggs? What's what's on the menu? Um, so far, it's just taco in a bag. And then it's going to at the Festival Plaza. And it's going to be gonna, going through Saturday to 11 to 2, Saturday to Sunday. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd also like to thank Mrs. Brooks for whispering into the ear of the students here behind us to make sure we get all the right information. But uh, so far, you're a man who's a nerd of music. You're playing Metallica, and you're going to be bringing up tacos in a bag. You and me, we're going to be best friends. Uh, Rinaldi, thank you so much for joining me. I want to go over to Tessa at this point. I told you, I got half the band in here with me this afternoon. Uh, Tessa, it's not just helping out this weekend. You guys obviously doing a lot of fundraisers, including your fun Drazer, can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, uh, so we did kind of a similar thing as well last year at, uh, at Montmorency, which we're doing again on February 24th from uh, 12 to 4, I believe it is. Um, it's going to be just a big night of entertainment, food, live music. There's going to be some, uh, I have a few people who are on the list for uh, some live rock music, like you were talking about. Um, we have some face painting, some actively first aid, just like a whole group thing that we can raise some money for. 
can you give us an idea of uh, the the price to get in? Is it just by donation? Is it two hundred dollars a ticket because we're going to see a full orchestra? Like what's? Yeah, so uh, prices are about seven hundred. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's by donation. It's whatever you're feeling like donating at the time. Just come on, stop on by, and donate whatever you want. Get your face painted, listen to some good music, enjoy your time. Well, again, now I'm sold. Uh, one, one more time, just because we kind of glanced over it, and I really want to put a focus on this. Yeah. One more time, what is the date and what is the time of the SD60 band fundraiser? So the time is 12 to 4 on February 24th. February 24th is a Saturday. There is no reason to miss it. That is the whole SD60 band. If you want to see this interview, you want more information, uh, you can visit our Facebook page or YouTube page. Any of our pages, we're all going to have this. Uh, and one more time, I don't know who wants to get in on this. Ms. Brooks, do you mind stepping in front of the microphone just for a quick second? Uh, the only other question that I have to ask is, if someone wants to support the band, if somebody wants to be a sponsor, or if somebody wants to give to the band, how can they reach out and how can they do that? The best way t would be just to email me. Uh, that's the easiest, sbrooks at prn.bc.ca. Uh, second best would be, honestly, just talking to any band member. They could put you in touch with me. Um, and just lastly, band is so much more than the music. Um, band is uh, really about watching the community grow. I've had Rinaldi here since he was grade one. His mother was my student teacher and is now a music teacher in the district. And all the way to I've now, our community band has married off not one but two couples. We've welcomed one baby. Uh, band is about community. It's about friendship. Uh, these trips these kids are going on, it's just going to change their life. It's life changing. Um, and really come out because just see what we're all about. I and mean, we're about the fun. The important pr food groups, we got the popcorn, candy bags, hot dogs, cotton candy, the dancing, just the fun and the community and the friendship and Price, Sound. you got anything I missed? No, I just, come on down, please. We would love to see everybody out and just please help us uh, make it so that we can get all these kids to their various shows. There you go. You want to help out? Find a teenager. Ask them how you can give them money. It's as simple as that. I mean, come on. There's 400 people in the band. You just pick a random teenager. There's a good chance you're hitting. Uh, that's it from the SD60 Band Group. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. This community interview is supported by your Member of Parliament, Bob Zimmer. Stop by his office in Fort St. John at 9916 100th Avenue and in Dawson Creek at 10421 10th Street.